Alors, j'ai le plaisir d'introduire euh, Madame Isabelle Maria Gomez, euh, qui va vous faire une présentation intitulée « Apprenez à connaître vos adversaires ». Merci. Good morning for having me here. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. And I was deeply thinking how I can tell you, because you were listening and amazing professionals all day. So my intention is to show you how the cyber criminal networks works, who are the groups that are working for them, who are the main countries that are involved in this type of threats, and of course answer all your questions if you have. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, if you like a story, I, I love to make a comparison between Sun Tzu and what is happening today. And for me, there are three states. That is, understand who is your enemy and how they think. Understand yourself, think about yourself, what are your, the things that they should resolve. And of course, uh, I would like to say that maybe you will never be defeated, but to be honest, it's a dream <laughs> nowadays. So maybe I will change this sentence and I will say that maybe you should not be defeated. So, uh, talking about the agenda, I'm going to divide my presentation into three uh, parts. The first one is the main actors. I would like to talk to you especially about three countries. One is Chinese, the second one is Iran, and the third one is Russia, and of course the war between Russia and Ukraine. If we are talking about vulnerabilities and vulnerabilities explanation, the most active country right now is China. They are investing a lot of money for uh, attacking all different companies. Iran, at the same, is like uh, the best collaborator for all of them. And in the last time, uh, Russia is um, maybe attacking the governments all around the world. They want information, they want to destroy several companies, and they want to collaborate. So, here are the map that it's, um, it's it, this is not confidential, you can find it in internet, but maybe it's the information that is accurate to all the um, network or cyber criminal networks that it's operating right now. Uh, I would like to highlight that uh, if we are talking about a spider, we are not talking about one group. We are talking about more than 200 different groups all around the world working and collaborating together for attacks, different companies in different ways. As you can see in the left, these are the sectors that maybe are under the spotlight and are more attacked nowadays. This information uh, provides from CrowdStrike, it's a public report, and you can find it in internet if you like and if you want more information, of course. I have um, maybe the pleasure for uh, being defending several companies uh, from different um, networks. One of them is Bitwise Spicer. As you remember, ransomware, especially BitLock, was more like a nightmare for several companies all around the world. Ransomware uh, is evolving and the evolution is ransomware as a services. Nowadays, you can go to the market and you can generate and pay a specific software for the company that you want to hit. So taking this in, into account, uh, we should remember that all the motivation that this cyber criminal network has is financial. But part of them have another type, another different motivation that it's divided between financial and, of course, criminal. Uh, several companies that I know, they have been suffering attacks, not only for gain access to the information, uh, they want also to destroy the systems, destroy the backup systems that are working for them, destroy all the copies, all the processes that can provide uh, more efficiency to their business. So it's important for us to pay attention, especially to this group. 
what are the main groups that are acting right now? Or, or sorry, what are the threats? Sorry, I missed one slide. Yeah, OK, no problem. <laughs> um, I, I would like to talk to you about what, what are the main threats that I know that are the most targeted right now in the market. If I must select one of them, I will choose identity threats and cloud system. I know that it's increasing like 168 percent than the last year. What it means that the focus of these cyber criminal networks is to gain access using, of course, insiders and identity threats. And, of course, they are generating more specific and more high values attacks for clouds and, and cyber infrastructures. So I will highly recommend to be preventing, especially from the identity processes. What are the things that we should have in mind? What are the main doors that they use to enter into the company? All of them. The first time, all of, knows, all, all of us knows about user and password and PIN. This is not something new, so you are going to know about it. Let's take care about the smart cards and pins. It's other easy way for losing the identity processes. Let's talk about the after directory certification. Uh, let's talk about the last privilege policy in all the company. It's important that people should have access only to the information that they request for doing their jobs. Of course, the identity providers and the protocols some um, like Samsung, you cannot imagine how many companies in the world are collaborating together and all the processes are old fashioned, are not updated, and at the same time are trying to prevent and invest a lot of money in different identity solutions. And in all cases, the doors are open. I would like to talk also about the Kerberos tickets. Do not forget this. It's very important to protect them. Uh, regarding biometrics, the, the last or, or the more new or the newest thread that I found yesterday, it's a new phishing attack that uh, is using the AI and is generating the faces and the voice of the kids. What it means that when a father receives a call, and he say, for example, okay, connect the cam or the iPhone, I want to watch in you, is this real or not? You will perfectly see your son, your daughter, uh, deeply crying and requesting money, saying that he or she is kidnapping. So really take care about this new threat, this new type of phishing, scamming, and so on, because the old fashioned technique are mixed with the new <laughs> techniques, especially AI. And, and last but not least, I would like to talk to you about what are the main learn lessons that I, um, that, that I, that I learned uh, in my past experience regarding to fighting all these uh, cyber criminal networks. The first one, it's uh, the ability to identify quickly the threats. What it means that we can collaborate with several providers, with several tools, with several governance institutions to receive the last uh, indicator of compromise of our companies and be prepared. Let me tell you also that sometimes when you are working with several companies at the same time, you will receive different types of IOC. It doesn't mean that this IOC is going to work in all the cases, but it's good, a good idea if you can share this IOC not only inside your company, you can share them all with the third parties and generate a trust environment to protect each other. I would like to tell you also that uh, it's very important to remediate the malware in the host. Several hosts uh, has uh, services that 
don't need, for example, the print services. It used to be active in several work stations and they don't need it, but it's a perfect port to enter into the company. Of course, uh, I would like to talk about indicators of compromise. I think that indicator of compromise in case that your company uh, was hit in by a ransomware is the most effective way to protect the company at the first stage. So identify them as soon as possible, uh, populate them into the firewalls, populate them into the network's disposal, and of course, talk to the third parties that are working with you for protect all the environment and all your network. The ability um, to keep updated uh, the micro segmentation in the network. All of us has um, listened about how important it is to generate a zero trust policy and have micro segmentation. Um, at the end of the day, uh, many companies change constantly all the networks, but it means that it's difficult to identify what is exactly in the perimeter of each micro segment. So take care about it and, and of course apply the information to your databases of knowledge. And this is all. I'm happy to answer all your questions and thank you so much for listening to me.